Good morning, and I take this opportunity to welcome you to Come to the Water, a life-giving, life-changing ministry of evangelization, bringing the good news of the gospel to everyone whom has an ear to hear and a heart to receive, and I hope that this is you and I this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and what are we going to do? We are going to rejoice, and we are going to be glad, for truly the joy of the Lord is our strength. This is Gloria Sonia, and I'm saying to you this morning, I'm so happy that you allowed me to come into your home one more Sunday where we can praise the Lord, we can magnify His name, we can glorify His name, we can bless Him, amen. Or we can lift up the name of Jesus, no other name but the name of Jesus. And let me tell you something, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee has got to bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, amen. Aren't you happy this morning that you have confessed Jesus as the Lord of your life? And if you have not, Confess Jesus as the Lord of your life. If you are not living for God today, oh, I tell you what, do not put off one of the most, not one of the, the most important decisions that you're going to ever make in your life is to come to know Jesus in the pardoning of your sins. Amen. I'm believing by faith that the gospel this morning is going to reach your ears. I'm believing by faith that the Holy Spirit is going to draw you into a union with Jesus. I'm believing by faith that salvation is going to come to you this morning. I'm believing by faith, oh, I tell you that healings is going to come to you this morning. Deliverance is going to come to you this morning. That God is going to set you free this morning. For he who the Son makes free is free indeed. Amen. God woke you up this morning. He woke me up this morning with a plan and a purpose. Amen. And I tell you what, there are so many blessings that you and I have been blessed with. And the Bible says in, in the book of Ephesians is that uh, how we praise God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we belong to Christ. Amen. Let me tell you something. You are blessed in the city and you are blessed in the country. You're blessed going in and you're blessed coming out. Amen. I tell you what, God has not withheld anything from you and he has not withheld anything from me. 
by the shedding of the blood of his son Jesus. He has made provisions for you and for me that we need to discover. Amen. And I tell you what, we come to encourage, this mo encourage each other this morning. We come to lift up the name of Jesus this morning. We come to magnify his name. We come to glorify his name. We come to bless him. And I tell you, I'm believing it by faith that as we continue to do and to believe and have faith in the finished work of Calvary, oh, I tell you what, our lives are going to take brand new turns. Amen. Stay in the cross. Stay in the benefits of the cross. What Jesus has done, live your life to the fullest. Though the storm may rage, or though the wind may blow, when you are anchored in Christ Jesus, I tell you what, Everything will work out for his greater glory. And you and I have the victory because of what Jesus has done on the cross of Calvary. Because we love the Lord. Because we have surrendered to him. Because of what Jesus has done. We are trusting God. We are trusting him like we have never trusted before. We have faith in him. Amen. Let us go to our Father in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we come before you with thanksgiving and we come before you with praise. For this is the day, Father, that you have made. And regardless of what is going on with us, you say for us to rejoice and be glad in this day. For truly the joy of the Lord is our strength. O oh, merciful God, you woke us up this morning all clothed in our right minds. We thank you, Father, for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you, Lord God, that... First of all, for our salvation. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for saving us. We thank you, Lord, for delivering us. We thank you, Lord, for setting us free. Oh, how we praise your name this morning, for you are God, and you are God all by yourself. You have said that when we come to pray, that we have to pray in order. And we pray for those, Lord God, who lead our country. Our President Barack Obama, his family. Vice President Biden and his family, Lord God. And we pray for all those who make laws in Washington, D.C., that we have to live by. Oh, this morning, oh God, we come and we bring all of our concerns concerning our nation to you, oh Father. And we're asking you, Father, for forgiveness as a nation and as a people. For we have disobeyed you, Lord God. We have done things in, in our nation, Lord God, that we are not proud of as your children. But because of your mercy, because you are a merciful God, because you are long-suffering, O oh Father. You've given us another chance, Lord God, to turn this around and to get it in order. And for that, Lord God, we want to say thank you. Visit those in Washington, D.C. Draw them by the power of your Spirit. Visit every home that is watching this morning, Father. Draw them by the power of your Spirit. Visit, uh, come to the water this morning, O oh Father, and allow your Holy Spirit and anointing, Lord God, to draw people to yourself, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are believing it by faith. Lord God, we pray for those who are sick this morning, sick at home, those who are sick in the nursing homes, those in the hospitals, wherever they are right now, Lord God. They need healing in their bodies, Lord. And we believe in it by faith, O oh Father, that healing is your children's bread. We believe in it by faith, Lord God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. And we believe in it by faith that your hand of healing is upon each and every one who is crying out to you this morning. Everyone who's letting you know what they need. I know that the God of grace, the God of healing that surpasses all understanding, the God of love will touch hearts and minds and sick bodies in Christ Jesus. So today, Lord God, we ask that you make your way around the viewing area, Lord God, and that you would impart through, Lord God, the airways, through the television rays, Lord God, that you would impart supernatural divine healing into the bodies, Lord God, whose hands are outstretched to you this morning, who has come, Lord God, seeking you like never before. You are a healer, Father. You are a deliverer. You are the one that sets free. And we want to thank you this morning, Father, for the many miracles that is coming to your people right now. We pray for those, Lord God, who are incarcerated, and we believe in by faith, Lord God, that New Hope Ministries, who's at work in the St. Landry Parish Jail, that souls are coming to you like never before. Touch each and every heart that is there, Lord God, that has been detained, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus, through the power of the blood that flowed from Calvary, Lord God. 
Everyone, Father, has been uh, called to freedom in you, the one true and living God. So we believe in it by faith that you are going to do something for those, Lord God, who are seeking you, Father, in this area. And I want to thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you can do all things. You can do all things. So therefore, Father, put you, let your people be free in you. Draw them by the power of your spirit. Give them a new hope, Lord God. New hope in you, the one true and living God. We just want to thank you this morning. We just want to praise you this morning. We just want to magnify your name this morning. We just want to glorify your name this morning. We want to lift up the name of Jesus this morning. No other name but the name of Jesus. Oh, we love you this morning, Lord. We appreciate you this morning. There is no other God besides thee, for we have tasted and we have seen how good you are. We just want to thank you for being in our presence this morning. For your word declare what two or three are gathered in your name. There you are in the midst of us. Move upon our hearts this morning, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus and through the power of your spirit. Bring us closer and closer to you. For the book of James say, if we draw nigh to you, then you draw nigh to us. Oh, we love you this morning. We appreciate you this morning. No other God besides thee. You have been so good. You have been so kind. You have been so merciful. You have been slow to anger and with great, great wisdom. So this morning, we just seek you with all of our hearts this morning. And I know that the windows of heaven are open, Lord God. Pour out a blessing on your audience this morning, on myself this morning, that I will not have room to receive. I thank you for it. I praise you for it in the mighty name of Jesus. And let the church say what? Amen, amen, and amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I tell you what, rejoice. And I tell you what, be glad. For truly the joy of the Lord is our strength. This morning I have a video for you. So let us watch. And it talks about give me Jesus, amen. It talks about you and I surrendering our lives to the one true and living God. Open up your heart this morning. Listen to the, the, the words of the song this morning. Give me Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be right back. In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise Give me Jesus Give me Jesus Give me Jesus Jesus, you can 